Let's uh, consider energy balance for a closed system that involves both work and heat. So we will use uh, first law of thermodynamics that tells us that total change in energy in a closed system equals the heat added to the system minus the work done by the system. So we can write that as delta E equals Q minus W where delta E is the internal energy plus kinetic energy plus potential energy. So we can also write delta E in terms of delta EI plus delta EKE plus delta EPE uh, where EI is the internal energy, EKE is the kinetic energy and uh, EPE is the potential energy and that of course equals Q minus W. So if we uh, look at the example that we saw in a previous module on expansion of a gas in a cylinder uh, due to heating. So we may write the uh, complete expression uh, for the work as uh, W equals integral of P dV minus the change in the kinetic energy delta EKE minus the change in potential energy delta EPE minus the energy involved with any friction. So that will be EF. And then we have delta EI plus delta EKE plus delta EPE equals Q minus W and instead of W we will use EF minus PDV plus delta EKE plus delta EPE. Now note that the kinetic energy term and the potential energy terms will cancel out. So we have delta EI which is the in change in internal energy equals Q plus EF minus integral of PdV. Now you also know from calculus that uh, dPv equals PdV plus V dP. So we can also write that as delta PV equals integral of PdV plus integral of V dP. And uh, rearranging the terms we can say that the integral of PdV equals delta PV minus the integral of V dP. So the delta EI equals Q plus EF minus delta PV plus the integral of V dP. And we can then again rearrange the terms as delta EI plus delta PV equals Q plus EF plus the integral of V dP. Note that in this expression uh, delta E which is the internal energy change is from some initial value to final value whereas the other delta, delta PV refers to the exit minus inlet conditions. So we can write a little more expanded expression as EI comma 2 minus EI comma 1 uh, so that's the final internal energy minus in initial in internal energy plus P2V2 minus P1V1 referring to the exit and inlet conditions equals Q plus EF plus VDP uh, integral. And then uh, of course we can combine uh, some of the terms on the left hand side to write as EI comma 2 plus P2V2 in parentheses and uh, minus EI1 plus P1V1 again in parentheses and uh, that equals the right hand side Q plus EF plus VDP. Note that E plus PV is also expressed based on thermodynamics as H or the enthalpy of the system. So we can then write the left hand side as H2 minus H1 so that's the difference in enthalpies between the initial and the final states equal Q plus EF plus the integral of VDP. So in a heating process the energy related to friction is zero and also the heating process if it is carried out in under constant pressure 
which is true in many many cases uh, we have h2 minus h1 equals q or we can also write that as the change in enthalpy equals q so this uh, gives us the energy balance for a closed system